Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara Altitude Edition is stock number 23J31. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2023 Jeep Wrangler has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Puts out 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's going to get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city, for a combined average of 21 miles per gallon. I'm going to go all the way around in this video, show you all the options that come with the altitude package. This one also has the Sky One Touch power roof, which I'll show you. So that's a pretty neat option on this one that does not come with the altitude package. That is a standalone option, which we'll look at on the original window sticker in just a little bit. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto and uh, click the bell notifications. You'll get updates every time I do videos of our new and used inventory here at summit autos. So let's get into it right away. The uh, black gloss black around the headlight bezels, part of that altitude package. You also no notice that you get the gloss black around the lights and the gloss black inserts around the grill. And that is the seven slotted grill. You do get a little Jeep logo on the halogen headlamps there. This one has the painted front fenders, which comes with the Sahara package standard. The altitude package also gives you the gloss black painted alloy rims. These are 18 inch rims. You get the Stingray Jeep on there. Bridgestone Dueler tires. These are 25570 R18s and they have an all terrain tread pattern to them. The other thing, a couple little Easter eggs, you get the sandals in the plastic shroud there. You get the Jeep climbing up the windshield. You also get the T50 in the doors. Not really a Easter egg, but it does tell you which Torx wrench to use to get those doors off. And if you ever want to find out how to get those doors off, in the right hand, upper right hand part of the screen is a video showing you how to do that, that we demoed here at Summit. You get the factory running boards, part of the Sahara package as well. We'll take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not gonna go through everything, um, but most of it. Four door Sahara altitude, four by four. It is a Sahara first and foremost. Bright white clear coat is the color, black interior, leather trim bucket seats, 3.6 liter uh, with e-torque, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard information that you get, or standard options that you get with the Sahara package, including the Jeep Wave membership. Um, and then your interior features 8.4 with the premium audio is standard on the Sahara, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, Sirius XM for six months, Guardian, Traveling, Traffic Plus, all that good stuff is standard on the Sahara. Exterior features, um, standard features right there as well. And then your optional equipment, which is 25L, so 25L is going to be your altitude package. You can always tell when the optional equipment, the customer preferred package, that is always going to be your optional trim on there. It's a $5,095 group. So that gives you the leather trim bucket seats, the altitude package, 255 all-terrain tires, 18-inch gloss black rims, the select speed, speed control, rear window defrost, a mold-in color bumper with gloss black accents, and the color grill with gloss black rings. So all that is $5,095. Cold weather group is $1,395, which gives you the heated front seats, heated steering wheel, remote start, and leather wrap steering wheel. Eight speed automatic transmission is $2,250. Anti-spin differential rear axle is $695. And then you get the 3.6 liter uh, EV6 with e-torque. Side steps are 95 bucks, so I apologize, those are not standard on the uh, Sahara, but they are 95 bucks only. And then the Sky One Touch Power Top is 1995. So you get the removable rear quarter windows and power top quarter window storage bag. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to open up that top. It takes about 20 seconds, 18 to 20 seconds, depending if the power, if the vehicle's running or not. Total MSRP on this one is $59,245. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to get those numbers as well as availability. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five years 60 powertrain. 
Here's your miles per gallon, 24 highway, 19 city, and 21 average, and your fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating and smog rating. Five star safety ratings, uh, four star front, and three star rollover, not rated for um, side crash or overall vehicle score. And that is the original window sticker. We'll finish the walk around here, four wheel disc brakes. Notice you get the normal plastic bumpers. LED license plate lights. Get a good look at that tread pattern on the spare. You get your HD backup cam. Back storage area, plenty of room back here. You get an Alpine subwoofer. This is your bag for your front hard top pieces. And then uh, you get a storage area under here. You also have a spot for your door hinge and roof and windshield bolts. And then your jack tools are underneath there. Note that you have your color matched bars. Your hard top is, actually this one isn't a hard top, so I can't even tell you about that video, but um, we're gonna be doing a video someday on how to get those side quarter windows out. Uh, so these pieces actually come out uh, so that you get a little bit more of the actual Wrangler feel with that power top. You get these seven slots on the back door there. You also have your JL badge with the uh, two door, four door uh, wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording and where it's made. Get the black fuel door on there, looks really good. You get the heated power mirrors. Inside that's a hair package or the altitude package gives you the black leather interior. Get the nice bucket seats. Note that with the altitude, you don't get the Sahara stitched into the backrest. They're just full leather, uh, no stitching on there. Driver's seat height adjuster. These seats do have side airbags. And you get the leather wrapped steering wheel, black stitching on there, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. Power mirrors, power locks, and we'll quickly check out the back seats. You can see that the center console comes down and it's got cup holders in the headrest. Goes up like so. Get the latch child safety system back here for any child car seats. Factory floor mats, you get a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You also get two USBs, two USB-Cs right there, and window controls. The headrests go down in these, as well as the backrest, and then the whole seat kind of goes down almost completely flat, which is nice if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff. And sometimes that seatbelt can get caught there, which is what was happening there. Child safety locks on the uh, back doors. Hop inside, check out the instrument cluster and the radio real quick. And then we'll check out that one touch power top, which is pretty sweet. You get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, compass display. You can change these corners to read, you know, miles per gallon, miles to empty, um, average speed, all that good stuff. Maybe not average speed, but a lot of stuff you can hook up the time, all that good stuff. Cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Remember this steering wheel is heated. And then you do get the 8.4 touchscreen. This one does have the factory navigation system on here. And uh, you get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You also have your heated seats and heated steering wheel controls. This is also where your backup camera shows up. And like I said, those are HD now and uh, really nice and crystal clear. You have your nav system on here, which is really nice. You also have all your different apps. You have projection manager. You can project your cell phone to a screen. We actually did a demo on Android Auto with an 8.4. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Then you get your off-road pages. Um, those take a second to load. So while they're loading, I'll show you that you get more tactile audio, climate, and heated seat controls. Get your start-stop capabilities. You can turn those off and on. Stability control, select speed, crawl control. Um, you can turn the screen off. Here are your off-road pages. Get your steering angle. So you can see as I turn that steering wheel, it actually 
turns the wheels and changes the angle on there. Get your transfer case, whether you're in too high, four high, or four low. Get your accessory gauges, and you also get your pitch and roll, latitude, longitude, and your altitude. We're inside the building, so we don't get the satellite signal for the altitude part. Down here is your USB, USB-C AUX jack, 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission with the little Jeep on there. Keyless entry with your remote start. You get the flipper key on there, which is really nice. And there's a little spot to hold your key right there. And then this dash. So this is kind of a granite crystal dash. It's got just a little bit of metal flake to it. Let's see if I can get it to focus in here. It's not going to want to focus. But you can see that it's got metal flake to it. Uh, really a cool dash. And I think that is specific to the altitude package. Because mostly Sahara's come with the uh, leather wrap dash but this one has that granite crystal metallic. All right, so let's open up the one-touch sky roof. And how you do that, very simple. You just simply press this button with the accessory power on, and it goes. Now, I found that when it's just accessory power, these take about 20 seconds to go. But if you got the vehicle running, it's about 18 seconds. So you go a little bit faster when the vehicle's running. You can see how far back that that goes. And I'm going to get out of the vehicle so we can kind of look at it from up top. So you can see the second row is completely open as well. You do get a Jeep logo right there too and then I'll hold this up so you can see when I close it how that how it's actually working it's kind of neat it's a cool design I think they had these on the Liberties not this exact um, one touch sky but something similar So that's what it looks like. So it's it's soft. It's a canvas. So I would imagine it's a little bit louder than uh, when than a normal hardtop. But anyways, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm gonna do a final walk around with all the lights on here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you've been able to get a really good idea of the overall looks and styling of this 2023 Jeep Wrangler Altitude in bright white. Very good looking Wrangler. Nicely equipped. That one touch sky is pretty cool as well. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Half tons, three, ton, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Altitude Sahara in bright white clear coat with the One Touch Sky roof. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.